Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day and welcome to Avatar Theory. Avatar 2, or Avatar The Way of Water, finally got its public teaser released after premiering during Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and there was quite a bit to unpack. Now I'll be doing a much more in-depth breakdown at a later stage, as some things might be missed during a first viewing, but this video it's just to speculate and theorize, so let's jump straight into the title itself. Avatar The Way of the Water is the second of five Avatar films James Cameron is releasing and the title The Way of Water is obviously focused around the water areas of Pandora and the water tribe, the Metkaina, who are a lesser known Navi clan located on Pandora's reefs. The clan makes use of their extensive and diverse habitat in many ways and has a close relationship with water. The Metkaina uses Elus as their companion of choice for gliding across the Pandorian oceans. We do briefly see these in the teaser trailer. Now from the opening shot you'll notice four characters, three of them being Navi but one kinda looking like old Tarzan here. This is in fact a human, nicknamed Spider, who is the adopted son of Jake and Atiri. They had four kids in total, three of them being sons while one is a daughter. Spider's real name is Javier Socorro and he was born in Hell's Gate. His siblings, who you can see right behind him, are Netaim, Loak, and Tukturi. Hope I'm pronouncing these correctly. You can see them running on the Hallelujah Mountains, which are these floating mountains we see in the original Avatar film, as they circulate slowly in the magnetic currents, like icebergs at sea, something we'll see more of later in the teaser. We then get a beautiful shot of Natiri, which almost mirrors one of the most iconic shots of the original, where we see Natiri for the first time, and you can really see how well the original film holds up. This is, I think, Jake and the family flying on their ekran, which we saw in the first film, but if their human child is on one as well, I do wonder how he would connect with the Ikran as he is human. This does lead to some theories and ideas, possibly to be discussed in a different video. There's also some whale-like creatures swimming below them, which, at the moment, I'm not entirely sure what they're called, so if you do know, then please let me know in the comments. Here we have our first proper look at Jake Sully, still resembling the actor Sam Worthington, but sporting a new hairstyle while riding the Ikran. Now it obviously cannot be the same one from the first film as that one died, so I hope we get some story as to how he found a new one. Then we get a beautiful shot of not only the water and lush environment, but of the planet Polyphemus and the two other moons. Now, you do have to remember that Pandora is one of 13 moons of this planet, or at least I think there is about 13, so I do wonder if this is a hint of where the film might go. Maybe we'll see Navi in space towards the end of the film, or maybe in other films. That would certainly be an interesting twist. They continue to fly over an area which looks to be a part of the water tribe, because as you can see here, this Navi does look a little bit different maybe even a hint of green to their skin, and if you look closely, their fingers almost look web-like, perhaps making it easy to swim through the water as they are, after all, a water tribe. Also, I noticed in this previous shot right behind Jake, it almost looks like there is some luggage he is carrying, so I am wondering if they're moving to this water tribe, perhaps something happened in their other tribe or they were expelled for having a human child. I'm not too sure on that one. Now this shot is likely Jake's daughter and the reason for stating that is because if you look at her nose and ears, it is much more human-like compared to the regular Navi, and Jake obviously was human, so this only makes sense that she is his daughter. Pandora also seems to have a really good dental system in place. This shot has quite a lot to unpack, as firstly you can see RDA still being on Pandora, despite most of them leaving during the end of the last film, and on the side, they have some sort of spider bot which repairs and builds. Interesting design choice, and I wonder if they took some inspiration from the creatures of Pandora. 
Now if you zoom into this shot, not only will you see a human using some exoskeleton suit, but you'll notice two avatars. Not native Navi, but avatars. Human-made avatars. Jake got the advantage in the original film due to being a human in an avatar body, so this seems to be militarized avatars that the humans created, and I do have some theories on them as well. You can see that the humans have essentially made a home for themselves here on Pandora, not slowing down on the military force, and if you pause right here, you can see those two avatars on the halo taking off. Then we see Spider sneaking into the forest with either Jake or one of his siblings or a random Navi. Could be a friend of his, and I do wonder if these stripes were painted onto his body, basically to fit into the tribe or if by some way they did some ritual which caused him to have these stripes. And here when we see the daughter of Jake again, presumably with one of his sons. Again, even with this one, you can see he has some human-like shapes to his nose, again indicating that this is Jake's son. Now this shot could be them hiding or hunting, likely put here to be misleading in the teaser. Now these two are humans in Avatar's bodies, and the reason for me saying that isn't only their outfits, because if you remember, even in the beginning of the first Avatar film, Jake wore regular human clothing, and as he transitioned into becoming a full Navi, his clothing changed as well. I think these two are characters from the first film who died. The one in front is likely Miles or Stephen Lang, and the reason for stating that is because of his tattoo right here. If you look at his tattoo, it is the exact same one Miles has from the original film, and it's already been stated that Stephen Lang along with Matt Garrard, is returning to Avatar The Way of Water, so likely these two avatars are them, or at least just their consciousness. This shot is likely the kids facing the machines for the first time, as you can truly see the fear in their faces, the rage and how they're trying to defend themselves. Jake has likely told them over the years how terrible the RDA can be, and they're likely surrounded in this shot for the first time. In this next shot, it seems to be Jake's daughter, riding one of the new sea creatures, probably after they've established contact with the Water Tribe, and this scene here will likely mirror the same scene from the first film where Jake learns to ride the winged creature. Here you can clearly see the differences in color between the Water Tribe and the one we are familiar with. Their color is almost aqua compared to the bright blue Navi of the first film. They're probably showing the siblings their world for the first time, hence their expression on the face. You can also see more floating rocks and this truly is one of the most beautiful shots in the teaser. This shot shows three of the Navi we've seen before, Jake being the clear standout with Natiri in the back and likely Jake's son in the middle, with a new character on the far left who we see in the next shot. She seems to be some important character from the Water Tribe and in the next shot we got to see who is likely her daughter, perhaps she is falling for Jake's son. You can see from the markings and colors that she is from the same tribe as this character we just saw. This is absolutely a stunning shot and it seems to be Jake's son being a bit more skinny and younger looking than Jake, perhaps as his son is learning the way of the water, just as the title implies. Maybe this film is about Jake's family learning the way of the water tribe? In an almost blink and you'll miss it moment, you can see that the queen character being pregnant and this almost seems to be one of the final shots of the film as they don't seem to be happy about what's happening. Maybe she even had an affair with Jake, that would be an interesting twist. Here's Spider and one of his brothers inside a human facility, which seems to be near the shores of the Water Tribe, judging by the open ocean in the background. Maybe Spider was captured and they went to rescue him, who knows. And freezing on this frame, again you can clearly see the tattoo Stephen Lang had from the first film, so this is undoubtedly him reincarnated in some way into the body of this avatar. This shot makes me wonder if one of Jake's kids died, or even Natiri, because of the smoke in the back and you can see the emotion on their face. They certainly seem to be affected by something, as it's only Jake, Spider, and one of his sons in the shot. So the daughter, 
and the other son as well as Natiri is missing from this picture. But when you look at this shot, it looks like Natiri and her daughter trapped in some human facility which kinda adds to the previous shot where they were missing. Thus it does make me wonder if Natiri will sacrifice herself to save one of her children. Maybe Jake thinks they died only for them to return in the third film. This shot again adds to the previous shot where Jake's son is swimming with the whale-like animal and then we move on to the final two shots. First we see the water tribe preparing for some sort of battle, which I'm guessing will be the final battle of the film as they're likely waiting for Jake's command. And here we see, whom I'm guessing is Jake, on some creature which can swim and fly using a human weapon. Jake talking to Natiri in the final shot could imply that despite them losing everything, their family is all they need, much like Fast and the Furious, because as you know, Vin Diesel will also be a part of this film, so that should be interesting. That said, this was the things that I found during this teaser, and likely much more will come out from the rewatches in the coming days, but if there's something I've missed, then let me know in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.